I'm still at this gym trying to figure out whose prints are these on the floor. And I see them too. I see them on the floor. And wait, hold on. What's that in the corner? Okay. I thought I saw something. So, let me see what happens. Let me call. I'm gonna call and see what I can get out of from my police friend. See if he's actually willing to help me. Smart enough. You're gonna like what I have to tell you about the Dunn case. Dunn and the gym's cleaning lady were about to get married. combination on Dunn's safe was her birthday. He even gave her a ring. You know, your typical suicidal bliss. Okay, I'm still not convinced, but I might have something for you. Like what? A jukebox that is out of order. How is this a clue? Life is often off key, like a bad song. The notes come together, but feel flat. Unable to create anything resembling music. Who is that? And yet, there are ways to string them together to create harmony. Ways that are not always entirely in our hands. I love how they're meeting in the diner. And they're talking about Mary, who also works at the diner. No discrepancy whatsoever. I love this. You look tired, John. Oh, that's my cop friend. You look pretty tired yourself. Yep, I'm beat. I'm starving. Just got back from the annual police medical. Not only did I have to fast, but I also had to chug two enormous glasses of water. Okay. John, you all right? Can we just talk about Dunn? Okay, no problem. The thing is, I'd love to help you out with this case, but I can't. Why? You know I work for the state of New York. If I had any information, I couldn't share it with a private eye. Even if it was lying on top of this table. You drank two huge glasses of water. How are your kidneys coping with that? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should uh, go to the... If you'll excuse me. <clears throat> nice. Office of the Chief Medical Examiner, East Manhattan. Postmortem report preliminary. Case number 176097, medical team, deceased Joseph Richard Dunn, male, witterer, Linux, color, dark brown, 47. Oh my god, he was young! He was young! So he died on October 19th, 7 p.m. Violent asphyxia. Suicide, quote unquote. And external findings. A uh, rope around the neck. Neck presented four ring shape marks around the entire circumference caused by said rope. Hmm. Hmm. Swollen and slightly scraped knuckles on the subject's right hand probably caused recent trauma. Interesting. Internal findings. No internal autopsy was performed since external evidence seems sufficiently conclusive. What? Now I feel even thinner. So do my kidneys. Thanks. Well, 
Truth is, John, it all seemed clear to me before, but now? Please, promise me you won't take the law into your own hands. I'd like to think we're not just vigilantes. Sure, you can trust me. I give you my word. All right. In any case, keep me posted, will you? Friend, you can count on me. Take care, John. As always, Smirnov had given me new, potentially relevant information. Not to mention second thoughts. When an old dog like him gets that serious, one must be prepared to bite. Oh, yes! Okay. Let's do this. I love doing these deductions. So, based off of what we've read... Let me see. Wait a minute. Oh! <gasps> what about this? And... Right here? No. That's not it. There's two clues to this. So, maybe this one along with this. No. So, obviously this one. There's something fishy about done suicide, right? No! Wait. No, I don't know what to do. How am I supposed to... I don't know, maybe... Maybe I just need a moment to think. He had four different neck marks. Maybe this one? How can there be two deductions? All of these things are just so... Okay, well, what about this? And then this. Oh! There's paint stain on the gym floor. Someone threw a paint can in the trash. Uh... Damn, okay. No, but there's something. Hold on. These two go together. And, um... This one? No. Okay. But these two do match. I know that for a fact. What? Okay, so these three do match. Fuck. Okay. Apparently, this one match. Uh, this one match. This one match. And, uh... Did I did this one? I think I did. Damn it, come on. I'm gonna keep on going, honestly. I really don't care. Fuck. You know me, I'm a little slow when it comes to trying to... Uh, this one? No, fuck you, asshole. How am I supposed to deduct this? And why does Mary has a code or clue? I 
I don't know what to do. I'm gonna be here for a hot minute, honestly. I mean, I know these match. What? I thought it matches. Paint in the trash. Paint on the floor. Knuckles swollen. With the weight? Fuck you, asshole. Maybe this? No. I know, I know, I just... Okay, this one, right? This one with this one. Fucking asshole, how does that not... Okay. Okay, he had four different neck marks. His knuckles were swollen. No, that doesn't make any sense either. I'm gonna be here for a hot minute. I really don't know what's, what to do. Okay, let's let's just do this, ready? Uh No. Okay, let me hold on. Uh um, Gym floor. Uh-huh. His knuckles. Damn. No! I don't know! Fuck! Fuck this game! I don't even know what to do! How do I have so- <sighs> Maybe I just need to look at the book. Maybe that's it. Maybe I just need to read the book a little bit. Because I just... I don't know. Nothing's not... Nothing's clicking with me. Definitely nothing is clicking with me at all. Okay, let me read this. Age 47. Weight 163 pounds. Height 5 foot 5 and 3 and... F okay. Police report. Corpse had four marks on neck and swollen knuckles. Hold on. He was five foot five. Okay. Because the thing is, wouldn't he be too... He would be too short to try and do it himself. Hmm. Of course he was murdered. I'm much taller than Dunn. And I can barely reach the noose. That is true. That is so There's true. There's no way Dunn hanged himself. It was murder. And the fact they had four marks on, his, on his own, neck. At least. Four marks on his neck. It wasn't his first time being hanged. Clearly. Do I have another one? I got two more. These deductions, bro. So, this one right here. Dunn wasn't tall enough to hang himself from that noose. He had four different marks. And on top of that... His knuckles were swollen. No, that didn't... Okay. Hmm. Okay. What about this one? Expander and trash belongs to Yell. And so on through the paint in the trash. No, that's not it. Hmm. There's a paint stain on the floor. Uh, this one? No. Hold on. He wasn't tall enough for the news. There's paint stains on the gym floor. No, that's not it. Wasn't tall enough. 
Knuckle swollen. No. He had four different neck marks. His knuckles were swollen. No, that wasn't it. Okay. Wasn't tall enough to hang from his news. Had four different neck marks. And there's a third one. Let me see. This one. This one. <sighs> Fuck. I don't even know. All I know is it was a murder. Let me talk to this guy, see if there's anything I can get out of him. Okay, Jake. I told you! Desmond O'Leary. Huh? I know you work for him. Now you're just making stuff up. Why would you say that? O'Leary's men told me a while ago. Okay. Let's say you're right. Mm -hmm. So what? What are you gonna do, huh? I could tell your friend Sonia. Does she know? Don't you dare. Or what would you right. do? You win, pussycat. Mm -hmm. Business isn't going that well lately. Natalia was my last well-paying job. And it's been a while. Then, O'Leary shows up and offers me a, 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 a bodyguard contract. Mm -hmm. What was I supposed to do? That's what you call it, huh? You could have said no. Yeah. Like you never take, uh... Shady business. I'd never take a job like that. As a matter of fact, I turned one down today. Hey, uh, O'Leary might run an illegal gambling operation, but it's not like he's killing people or conning widows. And I, I'm just a bodyguard. I make sure no one gets hurt. What I do, including my contract and paycheck, is 100% legal. How bad can that be? O'Leary pays you with dirty money, and you're part of a criminal organization. There's no two ways about it, but that's not what bothers me. I know you're covering up O'Leary's role in Joe Dunn's death. Huh? O'Leary? No way. I mean, I don't think so. Jake, please. Well... I guess there's no point in hiding it now. Oh, now you got something to confess. I was here the day Dunn died. Damn. Go on. I had to take care of some business for O'Leary. He makes me wear the shamrock when I work for him. I left the damn thing in my locker. Say no more. You came in the back door. How did you... Yeah, that's it. Joe had mentioned he'd been painting that afternoon, but I forgot. Okay. I stopped in my tracks when I saw him screaming bloody murder at Bobby Yale at the top of the scaffold. What exactly was he saying? Uh, something like, uh, if you do that, I'll call off the fight and make sure you never set foot in this gym again. I didn't want them to see me, so I left. Jake, why didn't you tell me? See, I knew you'd be mad. Obviously. I'm sorry. You're not John. saying shit. I should have said something. Yeah, you should have. You should have. Let's just say you owe me one, all right? You sure drive a hard bargain, John. I know. All right. Time to go. I need to think about everything you just told me. Oh, I have three deductions now. Let me see. Huh. So... Hold on, so... According to Jake, Dunn had a strong argument with Yale while he was painting, which means... There's 
Fuck, no, sorry. I clicked on the wrong one, my bad. Um, this one. There's a paint stain on the gym floor. Because some... Uh... No? Huh, this is hard. Hold on. So that one, right? Uh, so this one? No. All right, let me keep going. Let me keep going. This one. There's paint on the floor. So I'm... No, why would I do that? Sorry. I'm trying to click on the correct ones here. There's paint on the floor. Someone threw paint in the trash. And... I'm gonna try this one, see if this works. No. Okay, let me do this again. Hold on. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh. Dunn must have punched the can while he was arguing with Yale. I guess that explains why he threatened to call the fight off. Okay. Let me take a look at my notes here. So, with Joe... Let me see. Okay, so I like how Black Sad updated one of his notes from hanged himself to someone killed him. Okay. Sweet. Strong argument with Yale. Wanted to cancel fight. Is there another deduction? Oh, there's one more. Huh. So, Don wanted to call off the fight. He had four different neck marks. Who do the footprints at the gym belong to? Huh. Alright, this should be interesting. Uh... What about this? Dunn wants to call off the fight, and the expander is in the trash. No. He wants to call off the fight, uh, had four different marks? No. Dunn wasn't tall enough to hang himself from that news, so he had four different marks. And... He wanted to call off the fight? No. I don't know what to do. No. Huh. There's one left. I don't... I really don't know. I really don't know. Hold on. He wasn't tall. He had four different marks. Oh. Bobby Yale. I don't know if you had a motive to kill Dunn, but you certainly had the murder weapon. Dunn was strangled with Yale's chest expander. I kind of knew. All right, another one. So, basically, he wanted to call off the fight, and he was strangled. Christ. Did Yale kill Dunn just because he wanted to call off the fight? That would be fucked up. Ooh! That would be fucked up if that actually happened. I always knew Bobby had issues. 
But I never thought he'd go that far. Everything seems to point in that direction. I'm certain of it. But he could have been framed, couldn't he? Could he have? Poor Sonia. In any case, that doesn't change a thing. It does, actually. Now we know he didn't kill himself. My father's still dead, and you still haven't found Bobby Yale. Nothing has changed. Okay, let's look at the negatives, I Opening guess. Opening the safe and finding my father's will won't help us achieve anything. So please hurry. Time's wasting. Sonia's indifference never ceased to amaze me. But most importantly, why was she suddenly defending Yale? Oh yeah, I did realize that. Especially since she said John Black the difference. Said? I think I owe you an apology. <laughs> apology accepted. But what exactly are you apologizing for? <laughs> uh, listen, I don't think my fellow workers treated you with the respect you deserve. Oh, Leary? I'm so sorry they wrinkled your suit. The thing is, uh, they didn't know we shared a common goal. Wow. Bobby Yale. I want to find him and get to the bottom of this as much as you do, Mr. Blacksad. So please. Kindly accept my invitation. Why not share our findings? Come on. Really? I'm afraid I have to say no. I can't ride in a fancy car with a wrinkled suit. Oh, I don't see why not. In any case, if those little wrinkles make you uncomfortable, What are you gonna I do, always shoot me? play it nice and safe. You gonna shoot me right here in the streets? You're going in, aren't you? Damn. Fuck. Thank you, Black Sad. You won't regret this. So let's cut to the chase. I need Bobby Yale to fight Stone. There's just too much money at stake. So I'm offering you my help to find Yale. Let's work together. What kind of help do you need? A simple exchange of information. You're a good detective, and I, well, Let's just say I have my own ways of making people talk. I think I'll have to pass this time. Why? What? Do my own ways scare you? No, Please, you're just a criminal. Let's say I bet a beer that we find Yale in three days, and you bet a beer that we don't. In three days, one of us has to buy the other a beer. Is that so bad? We're simply two grown men using our money and free will to conduct a small private exchange. And most importantly, we're not hurting anyone. So, yeah, I run a gambling business. What's so bad about that? It's illegal, for starters. Illegal? Let me tell you what should be illegal. What? The way our government is ruining America. Really? We live in a so-called free country. You a place where a honest one. people can make a living, provided they don't hurt anybody. We're not communists. Well, at least I'm not. I would have never thought otherwise. As for me... I'm not either. Ha! <laughs> well then, you see? We're all among friends. In any case, that's not my point. 
The government betrays our nation's values by passing communist laws that forbid an honest man like me to make a living without hurting a soul. And that, Mr. Black said, is just wrong. I'd even say it's unconstitutional. Do you get my point now? Coming from my criminal is so funny. Okay, but that doesn't justify what you do for a living. Oh boy. Did you hear anything I just said? Anyway, when the government passes these laws, there's only one legitimate weapon the people can wield. The same weapon that turned America into a great nation. Civil disobedience. So, as the proud American that I am, it's my duty to disobey. You're bending the truth to justify organized crime. Oh no. It might have been organized crime, but not anymore. I wasn't always a boss, you know. No, sir. I started at the bottom, when Lucky Blitzen ran this show. That good for nothing. His was a reign of terror, extortion, violence, you know, that sort of unpleasant thing. When I took over, I decided I'd make people want to do my bidding. Not out of fear, but out of gratitude. I decided to help people so they would help me. That beating your thugs gave me was really helpful. Thank you so much. Ah, ah, ah. Those poor bastards didn't even know you were a detective, that you were on our side. Maybe at first, but when they tied me up and beat the socks off me, they knew very well who I was. Seriously? Yeah. That goes against my rules. Who was yeah. it? Yeah, the two of them. Bastards. But don't you worry. I'll have a talk with those two. I cannot tolerate this behavior. Please, accept my apologies, Mr. Blacksad. You see, a lot of people work for me. Many families depend on my business. Not only that, St. Christopher's Hospice practically lives on my donations. What? The widows of my late employees are set for life. Their kids get free schooling. The cops hmm. leave me alone because they know my business doesn't hurt anyone. On the contrary, and, ah, it looks like we're here. Yale's apartment? <laughs> I told you, I'm on your side. Go ahead, search the place. I'll wait down here. When you're Get done, out. maybe you'll change your mind and share your findings with me. Or not, it's your call, Mr. Blacksad. I'll make sure you're suitably compensated. Cole. That is so weird. Wilson. This is so weird. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.